wanted to provide a follow-up on how this truck is performing since I've done the Seafoam and Lucas treatment. Um, I've gone through an, a full tank of fuel and all I can say is this truck is running like a new truck. It's as if I have a new engine in this truck. Uh, before the Seafoam treatment I really had to rev the engine up in order to accelerate from a stop, especially if I had a lot of weight, whether I was pulling something or I had weight in the back of the truck. The truck just did not have any low end power. Now the truck runs as if the engine is fresh and it does a great job. Um, Ashley Anderson left a great comment and suggested that I uh, clean out the throttle body. Uh, just go ahead and take the throttle body off. So that's what I want to do today. And so anyway, if you've done the seafoam treatment, spraying seafoam into your throttle body will help clean it up a little bit, but not nearly as good as it should be cleaned up uh, because seafoam is just not going to get to every part of that throttle body. So this might be a good video for you if you're really trying to have that engine just idle really smoothly and increase the, um, the performance. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take off the intake hose. Next, I'm just going to disconnect the electronics. Disconnect this uh, connector here going to the throttle position sensor. I'll probably take that off later because I don't want to get any solvent on this component. And now I need to take off the accelerator cable and cruise control. Now that I've got the bolts out, it'll just require a little bit of pressure and this should pop loose. I want to try to protect my gasket if I can. I want to reuse this gasket if I, if I can. Now the throttle body is off, I just want to show how much, uh, show you how much carbon buildup is on the inside of this throttle body. But what's really neat is, it, interesting is, if you look where the sea foam has actually entered the throttle body on the bottom side, this is the bottom side of the throttle body. You can see that it has clearly um, removed the carbon deposits from the aluminum uh, throttle body itself. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to clean up all around this throttle body so as, as the engine is trying, to, as, as I'm accelerating, it's allowing a smooth airflow and as, as it's idling, again, you get a really nice smooth um, airflow into the engine. So I'm going to provide multiple angles so you can see what the seafoam has done. If you look at the bottom of this throttle, uh, of this intake, what you will see is all the way down the aluminum, it is extremely clear where the seafoam has dissolved all of the carbon deposits. Now on the sides here, I'm going to provide a different angle in just a second. The carbon still exists because as the seafoam was getting sucked into the engine, the sea foam was remaining on the bottom side of this intake manifold. So anyway, what I'm going to do today is I'm not worried about cleaning this up too much. This is fine, but I do need to clean up the throttle body. But I just wanted to provide definitive proof that this sea foam is doing a tremendous, has done a tremendous job at dissolving the carbon deposits. The side of the intake manifold has a lot of the carbon buildup. You can see the bottom is very clean. The left side of this intake manifold, again, full of carbon deposits. Now that I've got everything out of the way, all I'm going to do is use basically a toothbrush in the car and some solvent to try to clean this up. So anyway, this is cleaned up very nicely. I feel pretty good with where this is at. I've got everything pretty much cleaned up as much as I need to. So I've got the uh, throttle plate, I'm holding it open, and as you can see on the inside, this is an extremely clean throttle body. There isn't any carbon buildup left. The throttle plate, the end of the throttle plate, as you can see, where it contacts the throttle body, is clean. So this should really improve the um, the idle, the smoothness of the idle. So 
So I'm going to attach the, uh, the sensor, the connector to the uh, throttle position sensor. Attach the accelerator cable. Okay, I want to show you the inside of the throttle body now and how much cleaner it is. As you can see, this thing is as clean, almost as clean as new. I mean, it is very clean in there. The throttle plate itself is clean. The throttle body is clean. A little bit different angle. Um, it's just perfectly clean. So let's see how this thing runs. Well, that didn't take long to clean out the throttle body. Just want to once again say thank you to Ashley for the recommendation on cleaning out the throttle body. The truck definitely runs smoother, so if you've done a seafoam treatment, consider cleaning out your throttle body if you see quite a bit of carbon deposits. So thanks again for joining, and I'll see you on the next video.